What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Today we're talking about a crazy massage modality, if you can call it that, the snake massage. Massage has been around for so long that there are so many different modalities nowadays and some of these definitely play that line of what's considered a massage. But normally you'd think of a massage as a relaxing experience, something for therapeutic health and wellness benefits. But how much of that do you really get when you have a ton of snakes slithering on you? This is something that's been coming up on my feed a lot lately, so I've decided to look into it, and there are in fact places that offer snake massage. So the breakdown is they're using corn snakes, milk snakes, and California and Florida king snakes. And some of these massages will even incorporate up to pythons huge, very heavy snakes. And they say that depending on the size of the snake, they will slither up and down on you and create a kind of kneading effect. And of course, the larger, heavier snakes are gonna be used to access those deep tissue muscles and kind of give you a deeper release. There are a few different places you can get this from, some ranging from a normal price of about $80 an hour, up to specialists or snake whisperers who will charge $300 an hour. These specialists also say that snakes have a tendency to find the area that needs healing on you and kind of gravitate or slither their way to that area to kind of warm it and hang out there, I guess. And supposedly... Well, it's not gonna be done anytime soon. And supposedly this also allows the client to relax and increase your endorphins to get the serotonin and other feel-good hormones. Now of course these snakes are not venomous, so they're not using poisonous snakes. That would be a whole different level of excitement. But I did read that certain places will tape the snake's mouth shut just so that they're certainly not going to bite the client. And that to me seems wrong. I do think that the effect could feel good, particularly I think the big snakes, the pythons, would be better feeling because they would actually access deeper muscles. Snakes can get really heavy. And I also think that the snakes would kind of enjoy being pressed up against a warm human. Snakes being cold-blooded, it seems like they would like to slither around basically a warm person. but. There's no way to actually ask if a snake would like being pressed up against another living, breathing thing. It seems like the wild nature of them might be on alert because they don't know our intentions towards them. If they did enjoy running up and down us though, or slithering up and down us, I couldn't stop myself from thinking that they would probably just be peeing all over me for the entire session though. You know, snakes are wild creatures, they don't use bathrooms. So I imagine if they did get too relaxed, we might feel it. Overall though, I don't know if I would get a snake massage simply due to I wouldn't want an animal being used for our enjoyment, more or less. Just like the Thailand elephant massages where they have elephants step on your back, those are of the nature where it uses other animals and we've kind of trained them through not the best of means to give those massages. But I would be open to trying out an extreme exotic massage modality such as hot knives or something else. I don't know if I would go for the snakes themselves. What about you guys? What do you think? Would you try out the snake massage? Would you not? Are you for it or against it? Let me know what you think and leave your answers in the comments below. Otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.